What if WWE rebook the Imposter Kane storyline? In 2006, after losing the tag team titles, well, Kane is actually acting weird. The way that he is acting is that there's a certain date that he doesn't want to hear. And that's also the same date where his parents were, bur were burned by The Undertaker. And in this storyline, well, at first it is weird because of this. A lot of mind games towards Kane. And it led to a match versus the Big Show at Backlash. Which ended in a disqualification or no contest. I'm not sure. And then, yeah. And also there's a side thing about this storyline. And that is the movie Sino no Evil. See no Evil debuted on May 19th. Which people think that it is actually the storyline is promoting the movie, emphasizing on the date of the release of the film, in May 19, 2006. And people think that the movie is actually great. And yes, I watched it and I found it great also in a horror spectator of mind. So, See No Evil was released in 2006. Kane is having the storyline and how did it started well as i told you well it is after they lost the tag team championships kane is acting weird in a weird way which there is something on his head and that is may 19. when he hears it is he attacks the people which surrounds him from commentators to wrestlers and even stars of the film and yes well this started which after may 19 well there's someone who debuted the imposter and they fought it at vengeance and the imposter was sent away and later debuted as fastest then later on as luke gallows so what if wwe rebooked the storyline in this what if we're, we're gonna change a lot of things in his debut well we're gonna change the hair and especially the mannerisms, it should be done perfectly to the core. The hand gesture and even the choke slam itself. The choke slam must be done just like how Kane did it in 1998, which even though sometimes it can be done one hand. So yeah, after that, well, Kane will be capably injured after Vengeance 2006. The real Kane for him to promote this movie. So what happens for the imposter Kane? Well, imposter Kane is there to play mind games with Kane. And with him gone, well, he's gonna dominate the roster. Even the mid-card scene because the WWE Championship scene is more of John Cena storyline. And I'm not sure if WWE will push this imposter till that point. So yeah, while well, the imposter is actually... That dominant in the mid-card scene, he's gonna destroy jobbers. He's gonna make matches and even does the mannerisms just like King. So for re more weeks and more weeks, he will see a lot of dominant things by this imposter. Which people will think, is this the same King as before? Or is this the guy? who actually is playing Kane in the 1998 and got replaced by this current Kane which we all know. After that, well, after a lot of weeks of dominance, we will see a promo. A promo towards the return of Kane. And it's not that ordinary Kane, no, no, no. It's the hybrid of Jacob Goodnight and Kane. The real king. So he's gonna act like Jacob Goodnight in the movie when he returns. Even bringing that weapon, which I'm not sure, that hook he used in the film to get the eyes of the co stars in the film. So we're gonna have a lot of promos combining those characters and even having a new attire for King in that point. Which I'm not sure if remasking him is a good idea by this point or returning him as unmasked and as I told you the hybrid of Jacob Goodnight and Kane. 
So after a week's dominance of this imposter, even winning the Intercontinental Championship, which we can actually do in the storyline just to have some little things, or not winning a title but raising the stakes towards the match. So let's just say that Kane returns, the real Kane. He will return and there's gonna be a promo towards it. Promo him being weak and being the soft when he saw this imposter who actually is part of his childhood. And when he saw this imposter, well, he became weak, frightened, and destroyed that vengeance. Then he will say that he will see the real Kane when he returns. Like the type of promo that Kane can actually do. Promote him. Make him a huge star. He is actually a movie star by this point, And we can take advantage of the horror-esque films. Which WB can do horror-esque materials. But not that much screamer. But we will see a lot of things in his past. He will document what happens in his past. In that fire and in this imposter what happens to his childhood and he will destroy whoever this guy is on his mask and when he returns he will come back as jacob goodnight or kane and when he returns well there's gonna be a match between the imposter and a jobber by that point the imposter will destroy the jobber or the person who is playing as his opponent and after that, when he actually confront Kane or this hybrid of Kane and Jacob Goodnight with the hook on his hand, well, the imposter will go to the go out to the ring, and for Kane, he will choke the jobber and to brutally destroy him to send a message to this imposter. And for weeks leading, he will say that I am the real Kane, and I will destroy this imposter this fake this knockout and after that knock off and if after that i will bring him to the depths of you know how his character works after that well the imposter will try to make a promo returning even the material which kane used before in 1998 and that's i think how he used i'm not sure what it's called but you know the thing where Kane puts in his throat and that's how he speak in 1999 and which he actually uttered his first words the suck it and the thing on his throat he will cut a promo it actually has a good element for it I'm not sure if returning Paul Bearer in this storyline is a good idea or it's gonna be a wacky idea because if he sides with the imposter, it's gonna be a huge confusing moment for this thing. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna return Paul Bear by this point or no. And for that, he will return the microphone and, and the match will be either featured in three matches. Which is, first, it can be a Hell in a Cell match where Kane actually debuted and they can end their rivalry with the Hell in a Cell. Which... It is actually the same thing which the same attire of Kane that the imposter is using actually debuted. The second one is an Inferno match which instead of Kane versus MVP we can have Kane versus the imposter Kane by that point. If that storyline can stretch or WWE just put the Inferno match randomly in that point. Or third it can be a hook match which Kane can use his hook as a material and he will use it and destroy this imposter which he will choke the life out of it which we all know that Kane will win this match and in the end of the match within either this three of stipulations which after the stipulated match Kane wins and he will unmask the imposter and the imposter will actually get out of the ring without his face getting exposed and as for Kane he will grab the mask Look at it, stare in the fans, and then where's it? I know it's strange that I 
actually made gain were the mask but it is only a tease for the moment because later on in this what if he will actually remask after that storyline except it is a half mask just like in 2002 and instead of that weak Kane in 2002 joyful Kane we will see a hybrid of Kane and Jacob Goodnight in this character which he will eventually destroy everyone in his way the mask will be a hybrid of the design of the first mask and it will be a half mask and as for that he will dominate the roster and he will not lose to the great Kali in WrestleMania 23 no 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 I know great Kali is a good character and in terms of wrestling people has different opinions about him but I think his character is great at all during these times and him losing to this Kane with this mixed character, destruction mode full. I think it is also a good thing for his match at WrestleMania 23 instead of that being a match who suck for people's eyes. Instead, it will be a great match because in that said WrestleMania 23 event, it will be actually the Ray debut of Kane wearing the half mask as I told you and destroying Kali in the process and it will be a street fight or a hook match just like in real life and that's it for this what if and for the following years he will stay with a mask until he unmasks yet again I know the part of remasking doesn't make sense in this storyline because we just went through from the imposter thing but if the motivation is he actually has an opponent with the mask of his own and that reminds him of his old self, his dominant self. Why not hesitate to wear the same mask and be the dominant monster yet again and destroy everyone in your way instead of being this guy who actually being destroyed by the imposter one who's wearing his own property, his mask and his attire. That will be his motivation that's why he will remask and for that point also he will go to his built-in 1998 body and he will actually build more look as muscular he will lose the stomach thing he will have abs there and for his muscles well i'm not sure if everything will go back because of his surgery in 2002 but let's just say that the bicep of his actually suits on the half mask and the attire i'm not sure if we're gonna have this same attire in 2003 for his half mask or it will be the same in 2000s the 2000 attire and then the half mask and the half sleeve just like in 1999 to 2000s that will be his attire for the moment and then he will have this sleeveless shirt and then he will try to different his attires for that moment so that's it for this what if i hope you enjoyed this and if you do please like this video and comment down below and share this video and in 1000 and if we get 1000 subscribers we will have a lot of what if which it will be on the comment down section down below in which those selections will be chosen by you i hope you all participate in the comment on, in the comment section because i really need an idea for my 1000 sub special thank you for watching and this is my Krato and peace